Hi, Cancers. Welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today, we're going to do a love reading or a love connection or love interest um, between you and a Virgo. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, the last reading, your last monthly reading I did uh, two days ago, Virgo kept coming up. And I believe uh, Virgo came up in the past along with uh, possibly other earth sign, which is Capricorn and Taurus, and then fire sign. And uh, other videos I've seen as well, uh, Virgo seems to be coming up a lot. So um, I thought, let's do a reading on um, Cancer and Virgo, since that seems to be uh, coming up a lot for the Cancerian Collective. So I try to do... Uh, videos that will uh, be true or will be beneficial for the general collective for the majority of the collective okay but still keep in mind it is still a general reading so it will probably not resonate for all of you but at, at least as much as possible so i call in all my guys angels ascended masters to please help me be a clear channel for the cancerian collective who will be tuning in who has a connection with a Virgo and these cards are here because I usually do uh, pre shuffle before I turn on the camera just to get a feel for the energy and you know uh, sense what's going on and these are Oracle cards and these are what came out I hid who I really am I hid who I really am from you so they had a mask they didn't show you their true self. I couldn't let you get close to me. All right. So they didn't, they, so they, they kind of go together. They didn't, they didn't allow you to see who they really are. And they didn't let you in pretty much. They didn't let you get close to them. And I left you before you could leave me. So there's some abandonment issues here. Um, so all of these are indicating, you know, fear, fear of getting hurt. Perhaps, uh, they've been abandoned before, uh, from a, you know, from childhood trauma or from a previous partner, ex, what have you, but they're dealing with fear and they have their guards up or their show up. And then I start to use a uh, tarot deck just to get to see, and then, and then we get this three of swords, which confirm what I saw over here. Cause I start sh using the Oracle cards first to shuffle. And then I moved on to the tarot and right away, the three of swords jumped out. And what's interesting is at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, which is the card that keep kept coming up uh, on Cancer's readings. And the Hermit is Virgo's card. And the Hermit is being in isolation, someone that's going through uh, soul searching, dark night of the soul. And in this particular deck, it looks like he, I'm going to say he, but or she, okay, so you flip it depending uh, if you are a male or a female watching this or depending on, you know, your situation. So the Hermit. So in this particular deck, we still have the Lantern here. So there's an enlightenment. If someone's doing soul searching, going within, spending time alone uh, to figure out what they want in life, to figure out, you know, their soul mission, their life, know more about themselves. And it's also... Uh, Virgo's card so I thought it was very synchronistic came out and then this deck someone is reading researching writing journaling uh on like a vision quest almost and you know a lot of books a lot of research so it may not be literal but someone is trying to figure things out maybe reading esoterical stuff metaphysical stuff philosophical stuff trying to figure out and trying to understand you know, like what, what is the meaning of life? Is there, you know, is there a soul? What's the purpose? What's, you know, is there a calling? Do I have a mission? You know, those not exactly maybe, but along those lines searching. All right. 
So with that coming up, Virgo confirming, I thought, let me just stop, turn on the camera and share that with you. Um, so I'm going to put everything back, mix everything up, and then we'll start our reading now with the camera back on. So stick this back in. All right. So spirit guides, angels, ascendant masters, messages for the Kinsayan Kinsayan Collective. That's funny. I don't know if you guys saw, but the Nine of Pentacles nine of pentacles was there and i put it back nine of pentacles is uh someone who is single who is very confident and who is uh, full of abundance and is self-assured so this could be you right now some of you can see and watching this may be single and you're in a good place and you're comfortable with yourself and you have abundance so, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups. There may be an apology coming in. So, this is an apology or some kind of an offer, emotional offer, expression, a small expression of endearment. And Ace of Wands, we have New Beginning, New Creative Passionate Beginning. We have Ace of Pentacles, and we have, uh, so there's Newness newness here ace of wands and ace of pentacles and ten of wands so he's he or she i'm going to say he as i said earlier uh, have a lot on their plate they have a lot on their plate they may not be able to see where the heck they're going you know where their life is going because they're indonated in done in done dated with a lot of things, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of their shoulders. They're carrying a lot, heavy burdens. Um, yeah, and I see here Sagittarius, so there may be a fire sign in there somewhere. All right, so let's put these back and see what else is coming up. Out. So messages for the Cassarian Collective in regards to their Virgo connection. What does Cancer need to know in regards to their Virgo? It's funny, this came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Seven of Wands. There's a block here. Like, stop. There's a block. All right, so let's clarify. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. I wanna make sure all my cards are in, in frame here. Make sure they're straight and in frame. Seven of Wands. Also, spirit guys, angels, spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters, please clarify the seven of wands for a cancer's reading in regards to their Virgo connection. Spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters, please clarify the seven of wands. Ooh, abandonment, abandonment. Remember I said abandonment issues with the, the Oracle cards, past hurt pain, block wearing the mask, breakup. All right. So the Virgo that we are tuning into uh, were, was hurt in the past and they have more than likely have abandonment issue and uh, a past lover or a past love interest, someone they were in a uh, relationship with may have broken up with them or abandoned them or left them for someone else, walked away from them, and it hurt them, of course, terribly. 
and they're still healing from that. They haven't recovered. They haven't recovered, so now they're just blocking any new love or any new interest or whenever they feel that feeling again, they're just blocking it. That's why they're not allowing you to get close or allow anyone to get close because they're dealing with abandonment issues. And I'm also hearing childhood wound. Look, bottom of the deck is hermit again. So this is confirming. We have Knight of Cups. So water sign. And also an offer. Because we have the Page of Cups, right? Three of Pentacles. That may have been a three-party situation in the past because we have breakup here. And look, you guys, it's uncanny how these cards come out. Soul searching. Remember I said hermit? Hermit is about soul searching, and I put hermit back, and it came out again. Soul searching. They're trying to figure out their life, trying to figure out what's going on, the meaning of life, those deep, deep philosophical questions. We had the breakup. I'm going to put that with the abandonment. And then, look, we have family obligations at the bottom as well. That's this heavy burden. And then 222. So some of you may be seeing 222. And they are an old soul. Look, and twin flame. So it is twin flame connection. And they're taking a time out right now. I don't want to cover up the whole ten of wands. So they are taking a time out. And 1010 may be significant to you guys as well. And 444. 444, according to Doreen Virtue Angel card book, is you're surrounded by angels. Remorse and regret. So they have remorse and regret. This came out. And your cancer reading as well. And look, you guys, fear. Yeah. Fear and you're in a no communication situation right now. And they may have, uh, that may, the person that hurt them may have been a false twin flame. All right. So someone they thought was a deep, you know, connected uh, connection that had all the traits of a quote-unquote soulmate. Yeah, strength. They're trying to work through it and trying to be strong. Uh, was not their true twin flame. And so, but there is hope or they have hope or there is hope and wish. Divine Masculine. Yep, he is your Divine Masculine. All right, so I'm going to put all these here because I don't, I, I want to see this. I want to see this card, Twin Flame. All right, Spirit Guides, Angel, Senate Master, what else does Cancerian need to know in regards to their connection with a Virgo person? Messages for Cancerian Collective tuning in and watching this video in regards to their Virgo connection. What do they need to know at this time? The lovers. Wow. There may be a third party situation. They may be torn between you and someone else or there or there may be, this is not necessarily right now, but what we've just talked about, the third person may not necessarily be someone physically present in their life right now, but someone from the past that have hurt them so much that it's interfering and affecting your connection with them. Meaning that the reason things are not progressing or moving forward or didn't evolve or you know, uh, 
manifest was because of this pain, this heartbreak that we started out with. So, um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that they're physically with someone right now, although for some of you it may be, but I feel this is more third party in a sense that there's interfering, interference from this false twin that they may have had a relationship with in the past that they're still healing from. So let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. Spirit guys, angels, Senate masters, can you please clarify the lover's card for Cancerian? Okay, this thing. What is this? Confused, tired. They're confused. They are confused and they're tired. So perhaps they felt like that was, you know, that was the person and it didn't work out and it broke their heart and they were devastated and now you come along in their life and they're trying to figure things out and they're confused. They're also stress and divine feminine options. Yeah, so they're confused about their options. So for some, there may be a third party or another interest, someone to choose from, and they're confused, trying to figure out their options. All right. What else, Spirit? What else? What else is going on with Virgo in regards to their connection with Cancer? What does Cancer need to know in regards to Virgo? What is this? Nine of Swords, stress. We had stress. Stress. Justice. They're going through a karmic situation. So they may be, they may have a karmic, for some of you, they may have a karmic person in the picture, or they're going through karma right now themselves for what they may have done to you, or just in general, they're just dealing with karma issues. And for others, they may be literally going through, you know, a legal court proceeding. But whatever it is, they are stressed. They are stressed, they are confused. Stressed, confused, and tired. It's a mess here. All right. Yeah. So the, the, the tarot is confirming these cards here. Nine of Swords is stress. And Seven of Cups is confused. They're stressed, confused, and tired. All right. So let's clarify the, the justice. Picked up two decks. Spirit guides, angels, and Senate masters, please clarify the justice card for Cancerian in regards to their connection, Vir Virgo. Please clarify the justice card. So justice in regards to love. New path to love, passion, purpose. Can we get another card for the justice? Tower. Yeah, they're going through a tower moment. And their tower moment is like a wake-up call. And it's, it's, it's a karmic justice. Three of Wands. They may be traveling. And Page of Cups, apology coming in. Hangman, yeah, there's a pause right now. They're just being still, looking at things uh, from a different perspective, and they are getting enlightenment. They had a wake-up call. Yeah, they're going to love message. So there may be incoming love message expressing 
expressing or offering their heart because before they 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 wouldn't let you near because they're healing heal rifts and avoid ego yeah they're healing so they're healing from that heartbreak and heart pain and victories coming in yeah here's that three of cups three-party situation all right let's pull one of these messages for the cancerian collective in regards to virgo spirit I feel you leaving me behind. All right. So because you guys have been in no communication and it may have been a while, they're feeling you may be leaving them behind and that's giving them a wake up call. Uh, and I'm hearing, I don't want to lose you to possibly make a, a, a gesture and and um and an offer and a message coming in look you guys top of the deck king of pentacles this is them there may be a tars involved as well i know this reading is about cancer and virgo but see we see a tars and king of pentacles and they may also be having money or financial worries. This guy's counting his money. They may not feel good enough for you because they may, some of them may be ashamed of their uh, position or career, or they, they don't feel that their career or position is um, glamorous enough, meaning, you know, it's it's not like a, a doctor or a lawyer or a surgeon, you know, they don't feel, maybe they don't feel worthy of you or they don't feel like they're making enough income. You know how men have their, their egos? Because I did see ego somewhere. I did see ego. I read something about ego in one of these, letting down the ego. Um, so some of them may be having financial issues or financial worries or feeling like their profession or whatever they do to earn a living may not be enough. It's a, it's a manly thing because men, uh, their makeup, the way they're brought up and raised is man, man is the provider, right? They want to provide, they want to have a good job, good income to provide for their woman, Okay, and this is a male who've told me this years back, all right? When I used to have these uh, philosophical conversation with men because I've had many jobs where I'm like, I work with tons of men because I seem to get along better, less drama. And so the way I am, I'm very easy to talk to and they all tell me I'm easy to talk to. But, a, you know, a guy actually told me that men are you know, they're, that's, I mean, that's their nature instinctively. They want to provide and protect and care for. And so that's what I'm picking up here. They may be concerned, you know, that they can't provide or don't have provide enough. But what they don't understand is us Cancerian, generally speaking, we don't care, right? We're the type, like I said in our reading, we wear we wear our heart on our sleeves so it, uh, we're you know we're we're going for the love and not for the status quo unlike you know some people who may be gold diggers and looking for status quo and you know all that but cancerian is the total opposite of that we're into the romantic stuff um, at least generally speaking, there's always exception to the rules. So that's what I'm picking up. So they're going through, uh, different things right now. Strength. And we, this is the second time we have strength because we got strength in here as well. In one of these cards. So they're, they're looking to, um, to overcome their fear and their issues and trying to be strong and work through it. All right. So bear, bear with me, bear with them. I'm hearing bear with me. Yeah, they're conflicted. We have two of swords. 
two of swords. They're trying to balance. Here's the moon, which is the moon rule cancer. And then we have Libra. They're conflicted right now. As far as communication, they're conflicted. But it looks like communication may be coming in because they don't because they feel like you're leaving them behind. All right. Death. So they're going through a transformation. They're going through a transformation. They're morphing. And here we have the hangman again. This is the second time. So they're really, really doing some uh, isolation alone time really looking at things from totally different perspective totally different perspective page of pentacles there may be an, an incoming message and five of cups remember we had regrets remorse here's the re regret remorse so the tarot is just confirming the oracle cards ten of cups they do want to have that happy family you know, with the rainbow and the emotional fulfillment. And here's the tower. So they, they're going through a tower moment, you guys. I hear the word devastating. They were devastated. And the last person that they thought was their twin flame, it may have ended up badly. Some of them may have gotten kicked out, thrown out. So, this, that's why it's taking them a while to hear. Here's the moon. Yeah, there's fear. There's fear there. The chariot. But they are moving forward. They are moving forward. And there's a fork in the road. And they're going to have to decide. They're going to have to decide. But look, we have two of cups. They're coming back to you is what I'm hearing. Two of Cups. Kundalini rising. Good luck. Strength. Here's the lion. Two of Cups. They're moving forward. They have two paths to choose from. And they're choosing love. And look, bottom of the deck, it says, My life is not as together as it seems. I love you unconditionally. So there is love there. There is love there. I replay our conversations over and over. So perhaps they're thinking about, you know, what transpired, what was said, what was done between the two of you. What will be that final outcome between Cancerian and Virgo? Final outcome between Cancer and Virgo. For the Cancerian Collective tuning in. Final outcome. I think it's this. Because I was asking. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Okay, normally Two of Pentacles is balancing and juggling. But you see this infinity symbol. And it's connected. And then we have this Two of Cups. And then remember we had the 222. Two, two. We had the 222. Two, two. We have the 222, two, two, and we have also, and we also have twin flames. So, and I read intuitively, so I asked for a final outcome, this final outcome, connect it. They're going to recognize this and come back and make that offer. And orange is the color of the sacral chakra, so they're going to unblock their their sacral chakra it may be locked right now all right so fine that's the final outcome yeah see there's that underlining heartbreak issue that they're still trying to heal and they're conflicted five of wands that came out in the pre-shuffle yeah three of pentacles that three party and the emperor but they're gonna take charge and take control and be your emperor be be your divine divine masculine yeah, they're worried. Remember I said the guy counting his money? Some of them are worried. They may have financial burdens. 
and they're worried they 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 may have fin finance issues and they're worried about that as well and yeah something is hidden four of cups yeah so they're feeling ap ap apathy right now maybe disinterest in life six of swords but they're moving to a better place moving to a better place nine of wands for movement all right so let's see any final messages? Any final messages for cancer in regards to their connection with Virgo? That came flying out. I didn't have to pick. Argument. Argument. So that's that conflict. They're fighting within themselves. They may be lacking some confidence. Yeah, they're going through hard times with the tower. It came out twice. Negative thinking. All right. So I'm going to do these. What does cancer need to release in regards to this connection? What does cancer need to surrender in regards to this connection? Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Yeah, just uh, give it up to spirit. Surrender setting limits. All right, surrender to setting limits. As far as when, how, all that. Time, date, day. New chapter. A new chapter in your book of love is calling you for a fresh start. Yeah, there's a new beginning. Because remember I said they're, once they're done healing... They're coming back and making an offer. And it says here, I love you unconditionally. And time, divine time is bringing you together. True love is timeless. Yeah, we just had a message about surrender to spirit. And uh, and then I said, don't worry about when, what day. And then we have this time card come out. So basically... Your person is going through, they had a tower moment and they have financial worries and they have family obligations and they're stressed out and they're tired and they're dealing with childhood wound, abandonment wound, self-worth issues, um, and they didn't let you in, but time has passed and elapsed and they're feeling like you may leave them behind and they do love you unconditionally, but they're also thinking negatively because that's due to the self-worth. And they may have financial issues and feeling that their job may not be a glamorous job good enough for you. Um, but through the meditation and isolation and contemplation and soul searching, um, they're going to be able to heal and take a step forward and move forward and offer you um, and express to you. It will come a time where they'll be able to express to you. You know, it may be a small offer at first or small gesture with the page of cups and then followed by the knight of cups. So baby steps a little bit at a time. But surrender it to spirit and allow it to happen and don't worry about, you know, when the day, the time, the week, you know, or the month. But a new, just know that a new chapter in your book of love is calling for a fresh start. So there is a new start and divine time is bringing you together. True love is, is timeless. So spirit saying there's no time in regards to the spirit realm and in regards to love. Because you guys may have possibly had many lifetimes together. All right. Any other messages? Nope. I think we're done, you guys. So I hope that was helpful and useful to you. I thought that would be, uh, it would be good to do since Virgo kept showing up in your readings. So hopefully that resonated. Let me know in the comments if it did. Wishing you all the best. Love and light to you. Namaste. And I will catch you again on the next video. Bye, Cancers.